A matador literally went head to head with a bull at the world famous San Fermin festival in Spain. Bullfighter Leonardo Hernandez was riding on a horse when he sensationally leaned over and touched his forehead to the bulls. He was one of many to be chased around by the horned animals in the bull ring in Pamplona in the brutal clash between man and best. The festival also includes the running of the bulls event, which takes place every day in Pamplona between July 7 and July 14. Bullfighter Leonardo Hernandez showed no fear in the ring after literally going head-to-head -head with a bull during a battle in the San Fermin Festival in Pamplona. Others came off worse, including this matador who was sent tumbling when being gored by a bull, sustaining injuries to his hands. Bullfighting has been a popular pastime in Spain since the 8th century and is normally fatal for the bull. The bullfighter looked in severe pain as he crashed to the ground moments before the bull lowered its horns to continue the attack. Bullfighter Andres Rocaray was also gored by one a bloodied beast during a fight and was sent head over heels in the air. The Peruvian matador looked in extreme pain as the creature attacked after he was unable to avoid the charge. The bull lifted Mr. Ray into the air and sent him crashing to the ground as other bullfighters could only watch on. The bull itself was badly wounded by spears and blades used by the fighters in the ring as it attempted to continue the assault on Mr. Ray. He was eventually rescued and carried to safety by other bullfighters but appeared to be injured in the exchange. The Peruvian was conscious as he was carried away and was coherent enough to look back at the scene of the carnage. It sees a group of participants try to outrun the bulls along a cordoned off section of the street to the bull ring, and is very dangerous, with an average of between 50 and 100 people injured each year. Two Spaniards were injured at the festival on Tuesday but no one was gored or seriously hurt, officials confirmed. One runner suffered a head injury and another suffered multiple contusions in the fifth day of the bull runs. Bull fights then follow in the evening, with the creatures slaughtered by matadors, who are often sent flying through the air by the beast's horns and risk serious injury and death. The festival also includes seven days of the running of the bulls where participants try to outrun a group of the animals and sprint to a bull ring one runner was pictured screaming out in pain as he was crushed against a fence by a bull, left and right. At one point the runner was sent tumbling after a bull's horn became tangled in his red scarf and he was dragged along a wall. All participants are made well aware of the dangers of taking part, with between 50 and 100 runners injured each year this man was knocked to the ground after being crushed up against the wall. Despite appearing to be hurt in the clash, officials said no one was seriously wounded in the running and no one was actually gored in Tuesday's event, with three more days of running to come. The quickest sprint of this year's festival was set by a runner today who made the 9.30-yard dash in 2 minutes and 13 seconds. One bull got out ahead of the pack and charged through the streets, causing some hair-raising moments as runners tried to stay in front of it or get out of its way. In the runs, Hundreds of people test their agility and bravery to race with six fighting bulls without getting gored. Five people four Americans and a Spaniard have been gored since the runs started Friday. In the runs, hundreds of people test their agility and bravery to race with six fighting bulls without getting gored. The fastest sprint of the festival so far was set today when a runner completed the 930-yard route to the bull ring in just 2 minutes and 13 seconds. Five people four Americans and a Spaniard have been gored since the run started Friday last year twelve people were gored during the entire event, while there have been fifteen deaths since records began being kept in 1924. Once the runners get to the ring they are still not safe, as this man proved after he was sent flying by a bull. The nine-day fiesta was made world famous with Nobel literature laureate Ernest Hemingway's 1926 novel The Sun Also Rises. The bulls face matadors and almost certain death in afternoon bullfights bull runs are a traditional part of summer festivals across the country. Twelve people, including four Americans, were gored at last year's festival in all, fifteen people have been fatally gored at the festival since record-keeping began in 1924.